Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you another what's in my bag small purse edition. Now I'm doing like two of these a month now. If you don't know, I'm doing a what's in my bag with a small purse and then a what's in my bag with a big purse. And if you're familiar, my big purse is I dump everything out and you guys seem to really enjoy that part about it. But in this video, I don't do that. I just show you my purse and show you what I keep in it. Now, before we get started, I want to show you like what I'm wearing and stuff. This shirt is from Marshalls and I will not be able to link it, but I forgot to do my nails, so please, please don't judge me. I always have my nails done and I forgot to do them last night, so sorry. But my jewelry is from Amazon, this necklace set, and then this earring set from Amazon. So I will link all that down below in case you are interested. But without further ado, let's just get right into it. If you enjoy all things budget-friendly, hair, beauty, fashion, and a lifestyle type of content, then be sure to subscribe because that's what I do here. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't have any energy. <gasps> I don't have any energy. Hold on. Energy. I swear, this looks like an ad, doesn't it? I'm like, oh, I'm tired. Hey, let me go get an energy drink. This is not an ad. Not at all. Mountain Dew, energy, people. Sponsor me because I drink your crap like crazy. Oh. It is early. It is 9.57. That's early for me. I just finished getting ready after waking up and I am tired. So I'm hoping this will give me some energy. Even if it's a placebo effect, me starting to drink it, it can give me energy. I love this stuff. It is so good if you like energy drinks. If you like Mountain Dew, this tastes just like Mountain Dew. They have a bunch of different flavors and this one's the Tropical Sunrise. This is supposed to be about like two cups of coffee, something like that, but there's no sugar. There's like only five carbs. Well, okay, there's four sugars. There's no added sugars, only five carbs, 25 calories. Like it's pretty amazing. So I love this. So that's my mug for the day. <laughs> oh, speaking of, let me address my brand new background. I got mug racks. Now that is not even close to how many mugs I have and I can't tell you how long it took me to pick mugs to go up there, but that'll change often. I don't know if it'll change for every video, but it'll change often at least because I have so many mugs. But this time I kind of went with a fade color effect, like dark blue to light blue. So I hope you like it. I'm gonna get to display my mugs more now. So I'm excited. Anyways, let's just get right into what's in my bag. First, I need to show you what my bag is because I got a new bag for this. Oh, I'm so tired. I feel like you'll be able to tell like I'm not my normal self. I'm tired and I've got so much going on. I'm just zoning, but I'm here for you guys and I'm gonna bring you another purse video. Okay, so here's my bag. I got this off of Amazon as per use and I love it. So it's this simple crossbody bag. Let me show you from far away. I actually have pants on. I'm usually wearing like PJs or something like that. I got pants on. Look, I'm taking pictures today. I'm I'm working today. Today is gonna be a today is going to be such a long day. It's fine. Okay, so here's the bag. It is this cute, simple crossbody bag, and I love it. So believe it or not, with how much I love black, I don't have a black crossbody bag yet. I know. So I got this one. You're not gonna be able to see. Let's back all the way up. Hey, there we are. I love it. It's this really pretty like quilted kind of look to it. It's like this faux leather from Nine West. I do really like Nine West bags and they are affordable, which is nice. The detailing on it is silver, which isn't my favorite. I love gold, but I do wear silver still. So it's nice to have an option. I think my next bag will be black with gold details. Anyways, yeah, this is how she looks. She's really, really pretty and simple. And I love, I love simple. So this is great. Okay, so without further ado, I will link her down below. I don't remember how much she was, but she was affordable, I can tell you that much. So we're going to get right into what I keep inside of her. All right, so opening her up, I will say like, I love the size of this, like it's nice and small, but I could actually fit a lot in here. I think I was able to fit more in here than I normally can. 
and of my small bags, so that's exciting. All right, so first thing I'm going to pull out is this. Now, it is empty. This is my small wallet, because I'm using a big wallet right now. I do need to fill it, because I'm gonna be using this purse. I'm gonna be using small purses today. So I do need to put some stuff in this, but I wanted to show you that, that I have a really cute small wallet, and even when this thing is full, it's still the same size. So I got this from Amazon too. Pretty much everything, if not everything, I got from Amazon. So I will have it all linked down in the description, so don't you worry. This is the wallet. It comes in a few different colors, but I love this gray color. And you've got card slots here, card slots here, a zipper pouch here, and then you can open her up and you've got more card slots. So she can actually hold a lot and she's beautiful and simple and small. So this is definitely an essential for a small bag. A small wallet. Next, I actually can't usually fit this in my small bags, but I was easily able to fit it in this bag today. This is my pill organizer. Now, if you watch any of my other purse videos, you've seen this. You've seen most of this stuff in all of my other purse videos, but this is a really nice small pill organizer and got it on Amazon. It comes in a two pack, this in pink, but let me show you the inside comes with this little guitar pick looking thing to help you open up the things, which is nice because they're not just going to open up on their own. And you don't want to break a nail when you try to open it. <laughs> so they put one of these in there. So this is what it looks like. You've got six slots on this side that are small and then two bigger ones on this side. And I'll run through really quick what I keep in them. Got Pamperin, Lactade, Ibuprofen, Tylenol, Benadryl, some anxiety medication, restful leg medication, and Excedrin migraine. The girl gets migraines, so that's what I keep with me. And I love this thing, it's come in handy several times. And even though like you can hear it, I don't hear things, I don't hear it when I'm just walking around with my purse. Whereas before, if I keep like little pill bottles, I'd always hear those things like clinging around and that was just really annoying and tacky. This, I don't hear it because it doesn't really move around that much being so condensed, so. Must have. Next thing I'm going to pull out is this handy dandy travel size nail kit. This is also in all of my what's in my bag videos, but that's because I love it and it is definitely a necessity. So I used to have another one that was a little bit bigger and uglier. I love the black color of it, but then I also love the inside and I love that the little tools are matte black as well and this blue, I like blue so. I liked this. I don't know if they come in other colors. They might, but you don't need other colors. This is great and super handy. Really, like it's a good weight. You can tell it's good quality. So I highly recommend this to everybody. Next thing I'm going to pull out is eye drops. Now I'm someone who wears contacts, so eye drops are definitely a necessity, but even if you don't wear contacts, eye drops are really nice to have around because you never know, you could get something in your eye, you could just have natural allergies, especially around pollen season. This is just a really good thing to have, but because I wear contacts, it's a definite must have. So next thing I keep with me, and this is in all of my What's in My Bag videos, is this hair flyaway tamer gel. So it's this gel you might have seen it on TikTok recently because I've seen this kind of stuff talked about, but people are using clear mascara as their hack. Do they not know that there's actually something made for it? I don't know. There's this, it's basically like hair gel. It's got my hair on it. And it looks like this mascara wand, which I see why they're using mascara, but like this hair gel. This is actually meant for it. And basically it helps tame flyaways. So big time if you wear your hair up and you struggle with baby hairs, you know, doing their thing. This will stop them. If you're going for like a sleek pony and want to get everything back, this will do it. Even like if that style, when you style your baby hairs, this will help. But you don't even, it's not even like for your hair being up. It's for whatever. So like right now I could technically use it because I got some flyaways, but I'm not going to use it because I'm lazy. <laughs> but it's just good if you struggle with flyaways and even if you don't, going for updo. This is really great. So I love keeping it with me because if my hair is up and I use it before I leave the house then it's super duper windy outside and it messes my hair up. That's okay. Keep it with me. Anyways, that's a must have for sure. Next thing I keep in my purse is a mask and that is pretty self-explanatory. So we're just gonna stop there. The next thing I keep is a hair scrunchie. You keep a hair tie, hair scrunchie, anything like that. If you have hair that can go up, this is a must have because you never know what you're gonna be doing. You never know if your hair is gonna just decide it doesn't wanna be down anymore, I don't know. But this is a must have. You get it. Hold on, I need a break. Mm. Next thing I keep in my bag is a pen. This is just a simple Boeing pen. I have no idea where I even got this from. I don't, I don't know anybody who works at Boeing. 
It's good to just have a pen with you no matter what because you never know when you're gonna need one and when you need one and don't have one, ugh. So, pen is a necessity. Next thing I keep in my purse is floss. Now, yeah, there are things that are smaller. There are floss things that are smaller, but I love this one because one stupid reason is because it's black. I love it. Two, I love that it, it's in this container that helps protect the floss. So like it's not gonna pull out, you're not gonna get it all nasty. But three, so this is from the brand Burst and this is charcoal floss. Now I know you're not gonna be able to see it really well, but there it is, you got charcoal floss and it's really nice. And honestly, I haven't needed floss a lot recently, but before I used to keep floss with me, I would need it out and about because like going to a restaurant or something, you get something stuck in your teeth. I've needed this like crazy in the past. So I definitely keep it with me now. I have used it, but it's one of those things you might not realize how much you need it until it's like, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I need floss with me. <laughs> Next thing I keep in my bag is lotion. Now this is from the brand Ahava. <laughs> and this is just lotion that I got in an Ipsy bag. I really like it. Nothing too special, just lotion that is travel size enough. And I need lotion all the time, all the time. So I go through lotion like crazy. So lotion is one of the biggest necessities for me to keep in my purse. Now I can kind of show you more so what the inside of the bag looks like. It is pretty open, but there is a zipper pouch and then a non-zipper pouch. So I'm now going to go into the non-zipper pouch and show you what I keep in there. First thing, gum. Pretty self-explanatory. Gum is a nice thing to have on you. It just is. Next thing, I keep my N-pin, which is insulin. I am a type 1 diabetic, so this, ha I mean, is obviously a must-have for me. And then the last thing I keep in that pouch is this purse hook. Now, if you watched my last couple purse videos, you'll have seen this but this is just a nice round little ring it takes up like no room it's a really good weight though and it is a purse hook for when you're out in public say you are using the restroom or you're at a restaurant at the table eating I've used this and it has come in really good handy. There's this hook that has the silicone on it to help it grip. You can set it on a table so that you don't have to have your purse on the back of your chair because that can, one, be a problem if you're in a tighter space and people bumping into it. Two, it's easier for someone to swipe your purse from you if you have it on the back of your chair because you're not paying attention. So this allows you to hang it on the table right next to you super nice and then two it's really nice if you're in a public bathroom and there's not a hook or you don't want to put your purse on the hook this comes in a lot handy you can put it on the stall or on the hook that they do give you it's just it's a really nice thing to have and it takes up like no room so this is now a must-have all right now I'm gonna go into the zipper pouch and then we'll be done so in the zipper pouch first thing I keep is this lip balm this is really good stuff I just hate saying the name of it so it's from the brand dr. lip it's called Original Nipple Balm. It's something that you can apparently use everywhere, but it's really good for lips and it's really shiny and thick. And it's one of those things that where like, I don't think it's medicated, but if you're having really bad chapped lips, this is really good to prevent it and really good to help fix it. So I love this stuff. I will link it for you. Next thing I keep is a little travel sized perfume because I'm a girl. Anybody could use it, so I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but it's really nice to have if you wanna freshen up, if you're gonna be out and about for a while throughout the day. So what I wear is Coach Dreams Sunset, and I really like it, it's a really pretty smell, so I keep perfume with me. <laughs> Other things I keep in the little zipper pouch, I keep my pen tips. These are the little needle tips that go with my end pen, so I keep those in the zipper pouch so they're not like all around in my purse. And then the last thing I keep in my purse, and this is a new thing that I'm really excited to have, got it on Amazon. Literally all of this is on Amazon. So if you watch my other purse videos, you see that I keep weapons with me because your girl needs some self-defense. It's just the smart thing to do. That's my opinion. So I got a new thing, because what I have, I have a taser and I have a knife. You know, there are, there, sometimes it'd be nice, you know, if you're gonna be in a situation like that where you don't know, so like you don't wanna tase, you don't wanna just tase someone or you know, stab someone those are a little more extreme so I have one that I think would be before you need the taser and then you do the taser and that's not working then you need the knife kind of thing this is you can use this before the taser and you're good and, and no it's not pepper spray I say pepper spray and then taser so pepper spray is the next thing I need to get but this this is a birdie personal alarm I now feel like I'm about to talk in an ad again it's not an ad nothing here is sponsored but this is from the brand birdie I'm sure you've heard of it and it is this personal alarm thing that I'm pretty sure you just pull it and this like mad crazy high pitched loud alarm goes off and like 
it'll send anyone running to the hills, you know. I might test it one of these days on, on camera for you. I don't know, I'm, I, I'm not going to now. But I have no idea how loud it is, but it's, it's something that, I mean, it's nice and sleek and small and pretty. And I got it in the matte black color, which if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with the matte black color. And this also is like, has that really nice smooth matte finish. Oh, I love it, but I digress. So. This is my new little weapon. It's a great size. You can clip it on your keys, which is a great thing to do on the side of your purse or just have it in your purse. I think it's something that if I was gonna be in an area that I felt now would be the time that I might need it, I'll clip it on the outside of my purse. Then it's just an easy grab and pull versus trying to get into my purse. But for now, when I'm just driving around and you know going to Walmart or something, I'm not gonna keep it on the outside of my purse. But yes, this is definitely a must have. Something like this, but this is a really good tame one. If you don't wanna carry like an actual weapon, this is nice, so must have. Right, let's put everything back. And that, my friends, is what I keep in my small purse as of right now. I am so happy with this purse. I'm so excited that I finally have a nice black one. <gasps> I'm gonna be using this today for sure. Well, that is all I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know the kind of stuff that you keep in your small bag. I'm sure I'm missing something and I would love to know your insights. I take suggestions big time. And if there's anything else you want to see me do on my channel, also let me know down in the comments. I'm here to make you happy, so let me know. If you found this video useful, entertaining, helpful, same thing as useful, anything like that, be sure to give it a like because it really helps support my channel and shows me the kind of stuff that you like to see. Anyways, that's all I have. So thank you again so much for watching and have a wonderful day.